Do I need a license to sell coffee online? How to start an online coffee business? So these are two great questions if you're just getting into the e-commerce space, starting to sell coffee. Now there's a few questions you need to kind of ask yourself before we dive into what type of licenses and permits you might need. And we are gonna do that right now. All right, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. It is Damien Roberti. I hope you're having a great day. If you are brand new to Marketing Food Online, this channel is dedicated to food entrepreneurship and everything about it. If you're looking to start a food truck business, get an e-commerce food business up and running, or even sell your own packaged food product, this is the channel for you. We got over a thousand videos and nearly a hundred thousand subscribers and 50 countries are watching us. So we definitely have the information you need to get started successfully. Now, this is a great question. I actually had this email to me by one of our subscribers sent it to our email. Um, and he had asked about this because he was looking to get into, he has a brick and mortar coffee shop. So he's looking to transition that brick and mortar coffee shop onto an e-commerce business, but he wasn't sure if he needed a license to sell coffee online. So he's basically asking, how do I get started selling coffee online? And I told him, hey, you know what? I'm gonna put together a video for you because I have a lot of subscribers that are actually in the coffee space through e-commerce, through Amazon and so on. So a few questions you need to ask yourself specifically about your coffee business because that will truly dictate the type of licensing and um, what you would need as far as permits and other additional things. Now, keep in mind, any food business, now this is nothing to do with licenses or permits, any food business that you're starting, make sure you have a food business insurance policy. Even if you're reselling, for instance, and we'll dive into this in a minute, if you're reselling coffee online, that's fine. But just remember that if you are distributing any type of food product, you need to make sure that you have a food business insurance policy for your food business. It doesn't mean you have to be the one roasting the coffee or even importing it and breaking it down. And, and all of that. You don't need to be doing all that. If you're just reselling coffee, brand name coffees that you can get everywhere else that you're gonna curate, you need to have a food business insurance. Now, by the way, below all of our videos here on Marketing Food Online, we have tons of great resources, links to resources to our websites, our podcasts, and everything else in between. All right, so first question, what type of coffee business online are you starting? Believe it or not, there's numerous types, and I'm gonna give you an example of five of them, okay? Number one, whole bean reselling, but you're gonna buy it in bulk. Now, that does not mean you're gonna be importing it. We'll get into importing in a second. If you're just gonna buy whole beans, break them down and private label them with your own label, your own product, your own packaging, that's fine. But make sure you figure out how you're going to do the whole bean uh, reselling of your product, okay? Make sure you've got, uh, you've got a supplier, Make sure that you've got proper bags. Make sure you're labeling your product properly. There are FDA guidelines for food product labeling. Make sure it falls in line with that. So if you're going to simply re resell whole beans that have already been roasted, that have maybe have been infused with the flavor or something to that effect, that's fine. But ask yourself the question, are you gonna get into whole beans? Next one, roasting your own beans. Now, there's a lot of companies who create coffee businesses where they buy the beans pre-roasted and they do it themselves. So they're unroasted beans that they basically buy in gigantic uh, burlap bags. You can get them 50 pounds, 70 pounds, or even 100 pounds or more. And you're going to roast them yourself. Resell them on Amazon, start with, you know a Shopify store online, um, sell them on eBay, sell them on Etsy or Walmart.com. And that's perfectly fine. But again, ask yourself, what type of coffee business are you doing? Are you gonna roast the beans whole and then potentially even grind them up and, and sell ground coffee? Or are you just gonna sell them just roasted whole bean? Okay, next up, importing coffee to resell. Now, believe it or not, there's a lot of companies that are actually online platforms, even like eBay, I've, I've actually even seen this, where there's a lot of companies outside the US in South America predominantly, but in South America, where they have a tremendous amount of uh, stores set up on eBay where they will send you and ship you directly from from being imported in their warehouses. Many of them actually come through Miami. Um, that you can buy the imported beans directly from them, as opposed to you importing your own beans. Now you can do that, of course, but the biggest challenge to most of that is the additional permits or licensing or other insurances or fees or costs or even tariffs or taxes. When it comes to importing large quantities of coffee, you're talking about a, on a large scale. That's a big business investment financially, okay? Um, of course, there's risk involved with that as well, like any other business. 
But if you're going to be importing it, keep in mind the additional fees that will be tacked on. And the biggest problem with that is when you begin to break them down by bag, making a profit on individual units in the food industry or the packaged food industry, individual unit profits are very low. So the idea of selling anything has to be in bulk or large quantities, okay? Massive amounts. Because then by the pallet size or by hundreds of orders or even thousands of orders, that is where you begin to really make money. So if you're going to import it, you can do that. But again, again, this is the third, third type of, of, of coffee business to sell online, sell these products online, is to ask yourself, do you want to import? Or do you just want to buy from somebody who's already importing them and basically still has them in the large burlap bags, large boxes, large pallets, whatever it may be? Because it might make your business a little bit easier and a lot less financial investment trying to go through all of that. Okay? Next up, the fourth type of business model, the fourth type of way that you can sell coffee online successfully is curating existing brands on a website that you resell. Now, of course, this happens all over the place. And you're probably thinking, well, Damien, isn't the, the online marketplace for coffee saturated? No. If you think that it is, well, then don't even start a coffee business. I never looked at that 12 years ago when I started selling chocolate pretzels, chocolate covered Oreos, cookies, baked goods. When I launched my food business online 12 years ago, I never thought one second about that. Nope, because I, I was focused on building my store, promoting and marketing my store, my brand, and getting my product in customers' hands and moving on to the next customer, okay? And that's what I've done and most businesses don't even last two years and we've been doing it for 12. So the reason why I tell you this is you need to think to yourself you're going to make it work and succeed right off the bat. So by curating existing brands, bringing together uh, name brand products, different packaging, maybe a different type of bundle pack, maybe you're into Cafe Bustelo, maybe you're into Folgers, maybe you're into Dunkin' Donuts, or maybe you're into Starbucks, and whatever it may be, if you wanna bring those together by creating bundle packs, value packs, this is where you can separate yourself from the competition and allow yourself an opportunity to get a slice of that pie because it's so big online and it's not going away anytime soon. Food that's being ordered online through e-commerce is only skyrocketing and it's only going to continue to grow. No matter what inflation is, I'm sorry, but I, I don't believe any of that. No matter what inflation is, the cost of food prices, all that's nonsense because at the end of the day, everybody still has to eat and everybody they still going to be companies needing to make a profit and money. And you can do that as long as you do your research, as long as you bundle the products, as long as you price it right, as long as you find out how much the shipping is for your products. Curating existing brands is a genius idea because you're not roasting, you're not bagging, you're not having to label your own, et cetera, et cetera. You can just bring together a variety, okay? So the fourth type of, of business is that, curating existing brands, which is a much simpler business model when you start to sell coffee online. So next up, the last one. This one is genius. And yes, there are a few people doing it, but to tell you the truth, there's not as many as I thought because I actually researched before I did this uh, video to find out a little bit more about it. I knew some about this, but coffee of the month subscription businesses. Yes, if you have micro um, coffee roasting businesses that you can get access to, what I mean by micro is mo the small mom and pop roasting businesses. They love to get their product out there. There's a lot of unique uh, packaging, a lot of unique branding, a lot of unique roasting that's going on. These are small micro companies. By scooping up a variety of those and bringing together a coffee of the month subscription business by selling uniquely curated boxes every month is another type of business model for selling coffee online. And if you wanted to, I mean, there's nothing limiting you to just one of these. If you want to incorporate all five of these, then so be it. You can do that. There's nothing limiting. There's no law saying you can only make one coffee company. If you can incorporate all of these business models even into one business and offer this variety, then do that. You want to roast your own? Then do that. If you want to import it yourself and you've got a great supplier outside the U.S. and you want to bring it in and create a uniquely uh, roasted coffee bean that you want a uh, private label, create your own custom label and own packaging, then do that, as well as curated boxes. But Cookie of the Month is great because of multiple reasons, but here's the one main one, is that it creates a, a, a constant, consistent revenue stream every month. So you've got somebody who's ordering either monthly and they're signed up for three months or they're signed up for six months or they prepay for three months or they prepay for six months. But creating a subscription service for coffee, which is something that's consumed on a regular basis, is genius. I mean, everybody does it. You go to Amazon now, amazon.com, and you can sell on their e-commerce platform. Uh, they offer the subscribe and save, I believe it's called, 
Walmart's now getting into subscribe and save concept. Everybody's starting to do this online. So now once you've asked yourself all of these, now the question is, okay, Damien, the video is about licensing. Number one, you need, of course, a business license. Do not sell coffee online as you think this is a hobby or something you want to do from your house and you're going to put the coffee in your kitchen cabinet and sell it on eBay every now and then without a business license because selling food from your home over state lines is illegal and you could get into trouble. You'll need a business license from the city or county that you're working in or actually the state license as well. <clears throat> Next up is a sales tax certificate. Okay. In order for you to remit sales tax that you're collecting on transactions online through e-commerce platforms, I know Amazon does it on behalf of a lot of their sellers, and there's a few other platforms that do the same. But if you're on Shopify, you need to, to collect sales tax. You need a sales tax certificate. Next up, you need an LLC, a C Corp or S Corp. You need to create a entity status, as it's known. I would recommend an LLC, and again, you do your own research and due diligence. LLCs are very simple to form. We even have down below in the description, we've got resources to websites. You can even check that out for yourself. LLCs are simple to form and easy, um, and you can have it up and running in literally that matter of a few minutes, okay? As I mentioned before, also you need food business insurance. The policy for uh, a basic food business policy is between five to $600 uh, a year, and that's something you definitely need to look at. Next up is zoning permits. Make sure that you're obviously in a, a commercially zoned area doing this type of business or conducting this type of business. And you may need to make sure that there's no permits or additional zoning permitting that's it's required to open and initiate your business. Next up, the USDA annual license. You're gonna have an inspection by the Department of Agriculture if you are a food sales establishment, not a food service, that's different. A food sales establishment needs to get through the USDA and they will come and inspect your facility. Now, one other thing that you need to be aware of, any facility that handles food, prepares food, ships it, stores it, warehouses it, any of that needs to be registered with the FDA. Okay, that's that's a must. You have to register your facility. It's cheap, it's, it's free to do. You just simply go to the FDA website but you need to register with the FDA, okay? Every every single facility in the U.S. has to have that if you're um, distributing food, processing, warehousing, manufacturers, those all are registered with the FDA. So these are the types of licenses you'll need when you start asking yourself, do I need a license to sell coffee online? As a matter of fact, you do, okay? And depending on the type of food business model that you're gonna do, as far as your coffee business model, make sure that you have the right license and permits. So if you have any questions about how to start an online coffee business, let us know down below in the comments and we'd love to answer your questions or help you out if there's anything we can do to help. And I'll see you guys on our next video. Thanks for watching Marketing Food Online. And if you are looking to create your own food truck, start a home-based food business under the Cottage Food Law, franchise a food operation, start a packaged food business, private label your own food product, sell on Amazon, get your own online store or sell food online, Remember to subscribe and check out these videos for more resources. Take care.